Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Ransom Everglades takes on Florida Christian tonight on School Duel. School Duel, where the top 20 high schools in South Florida battle it out. Now, the ultimate winners of this academic tournament walk away with a school trophy from Edco and a $1,000 check courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A. Now, with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. Now, as you see, this opening round game features Ransom Everglades versus Florida Christian School in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the second round. So let's hear for our two competitors. <laughs> ah, but wait, there's more. During the show, each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A challenge. Here, the student with the most correct answers will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started with the warning shot. In this round, it's school versus school, and each question is worth 10 points. Any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, I hope you're ready. Prepare for the warning shot. Our first question deals with animals. Many of its species live on the Galapagos Islands. Yes, Sean. Turtles. Incorrect, Florida Christian Giancarlo. Tortoises. Correct, very good. All right, let's move on to the body. What tendon that connects your calf muscles to your heel? Achilles. Correct, Christina. All right, let's move on to professions. Before they got into politics, Ronald and Nancy Reagan. Yes, Sean? Actors. That's what they were, correct. Excellent. Energy. Mirrors can reflect sunlight onto receivers that convert solar energy to what type of energy? Electrical energy. Incorrect. Florida Christian, I'll finish the question. Okay, Michael. Heat. Correct. All right, let's go ahead and move on to art forms. They began as a way to teach Bible stories to people who couldn't read. Yes, Ryan. Stained glass windows. Correct, excellent. All right, let's move on to government. People with this job often work with an elected council to improve the life of the citizens under their jurisdiction. Give the two-word term for this government post, typically unelected, that supervises the day-to-day -day operations of a metropolitan area. Giancarlo. City council. Incorrect. Ransom Everglades. Chris. City, city manager. Correct. Excellent. What Am I Question, brought to you by McFadder Technical College in Davie. Now, this is where our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. Hope you're ready. Here it goes. Dedicated to a founding father, this memorial in Washington, D.C. honors this Virginian who was the main writer, Sean... Jefferson? Thomas Jefferson? Okay, correct. Very good. And in 2007, the Jefferson Memorial was ranked fourth on the list of America's favorite architectures by the American Institute of Architects. All right, let's go ahead and move on to income. If you buy stock for $5,000 and then sell it for $20,000, you have received $15,000 of what two-word type of income? Capital gains. Correct, Christina. We're going to move on to stories. It includes its author as a dodo who manages the caucus race. Name this story inspired by Lewis Carroll's job. Ryan? Alice in Wonderland. Correct. Good job. 
Achievements. For the first time in 37 years, American Faro achieved what is considered, Sean? Triple crown. Correct, excellent. All right, let's move on to multiple meanings. It can mean, quote, to agree with in every respect or, quote, to adjust to a needed shape, end quote. As in what, Sean? Conform. Correct, excellent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that horn means the end to the warning shot round. We have Ransom Everglades leading. They have 90 points. Florida Christian has 20 points, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. <laughs> Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Hello and thank you for joining us and welcome back to School Duel. The first round of action ended with Ransom Everglades leading. They have 90 points. Florida Christian has 20 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's go ahead and take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. And let's start with the Ransom Everglades Raiders. Welcome. <laughs> let's start with Sean, who's a senior. Sean, today's question is, is there a college that's on your radar that you'd like to attend? Um, well, I've been admitted to the University of Wisconsin-Madison, um, but I'm still waiting to hear back from other schools, so I'll, I'll know in April. Well, congratulations and good luck with the other schools. We have next to you Christina, who's a senior. Christina, your college choices? I'll be attending Yale next year. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, and right next to you is Chris, who's a senior. I was accepted to University of St. Andrews um, a few weeks ago, but I'm waiting to hear back from all my schools in April. All right, again, we'll cross our fingers and congratulations. Last but not least, we have the captain of Ransom's team. His name is Ryan, and he's a senior. Um, I'm waiting until April, you know, to keep my options open, so we'll see. All right. All right, well, great meeting everyone from Ransom Everglades. Big round of applause for them. Well, let's go ahead and meet their competitors. They are the Florida Christian Patriots. Welcome. Starting with Diego, you're a senior. Same question, is there a college on your radar? I've been accepted to a few universities in Florida, but I'm waiting to hear back from MIT in March. All right, again, we'll cross our fingers for you. And Giancarlo, who's a senior? Um, same response, I'm waiting for Wake Forest, though. All right, all right, next to you, we have Marcos, who's a senior. Um, I'm just keeping my options open to see what I can get accepted to and what, who's gonna give me scholarship money. Yeah, I like how you're thinking. All right, the captain of Florida Christian's team is Michael, who's a sophomore. You have some time, but I'm sure you have somewhere in mind. Yeah, I wanna go to Berkeley. All right, well, again, good luck to everyone. Big round of applause <laughs> to both of our teams. And again, keep us posted on where you guys get to go. All right, now that we know everyone, let's go ahead and move on to round two, the joust. Here, a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with toss-up questions. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, are you ready? It's time to joust. <laughs> Let's have Ryan and Michael, come on down. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. What cabinet department oversees the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the Department of the Air Force? Yes, Michael? Defense. 
Correct, excellent. We are with Florida Christian. The following bonus questions deal with the cabinet departments that supervise each of these federal offices. Here's your first bonus question. The school breakfast program and the national organic certification cost share program is overseen by this cabinet department. Yes, Marcos. The FDA. Incorrect, we're looking for the Department of Agriculture. All right, here's your second bonus question. The Foreign Services Institute and the Bureau of International Security and Non-Proliferation is overseen by this cabinet department. Giancarlo. The State Department. Correct, excellent. Here's your third bonus question. The Mine Safety and Health Administration and the Benefits Review Board is overseen by this cabinet department. Michael. Labor. Correct. Excellent. All right, Marcos and Chris, come on down. It's your turn to joust. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss of question worth 10 points. According to the website schooljournalism.org, who is defined as a person on TV who ties together a newscast by reading the news and providing transitions from one story to the next? Yes, Marcos? Broadcaster. Incorrect. Chris? Reporter. Incorrect. We are looking for the anchor. All right, but don't go anywhere. I have another question. Stay right there. According to schooljournalism.org, this amendment guarantees freedom to... Yes, Chris? The First Amendment. Correct. Very good. All right, well, with Ransom Everglades. Here you go. The following bonus questions all deal with the terms defined by the website schooljournalism.org. Bonus question number one. What is, quote, an article in a publication expressing the opinion of its publishers? Sean? All bet. Incorrect. It's an editorial. Bonus question number two. What do you call, quote, the first paragraph or first several paragraphs of a newspaper story? End quote. Sean? Introduction. Incorrect. It's the lead. Bonus question number three. What do you call, quote, a technique of teasing readers with material coming later in the story as a way of encouraging them to keep reading, end quote. Also used in fiction. Chris. Cliffhanger. Incorrect, it's foreshadowing. All right, we have Christina and Giancarlo. Come on down, it is your turn to joust. Here's your toss of question worth 10 points. It is an old word meaning proverb. Give this three-letter word that is also, quote, a sharp metal object with teeth, end quote. Also, quote, what you do when you use that sharp object to cut wood. Yes, Giancarlo? Saw. Correct. Excellent. <laughs> We're with Florida Christian again, and the following bonus questions all deal with multiple meanings. Your first bonus question, not very bright, or an angle greater than 90 degrees. Yes, Marcos? Obtuse. Excellent. Here's your second bonus question. Adjective meaning looking like a game board with squares of alternating colors or someone's past life that has had a lot of legal or personal problems. Marcos. Checkered. Yes, excellent. Here's your third bonus question. To make a big hole or scratch in a wooden object or to temporarily charge ridiculously high prices because a situation allows you. Michael? Gouge. Yes, good job. Our last two are Sean and Diego. Come on down. It is your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question. We're at 10 points. According to the poem, Idols of the King, the last part of the work tells the death of this king who has Sir Bedivere thrown his sword back to the Lady of the Lake? Yes, Sean. Arthur. Correct, excellent. All right, Ransom Everglades, the following bonus questions deal with Alfred, Lord Tennyson's poem, Idols of the King. Bonus question number one. This queen is King Arthur's wife. Name her. Yes, Christina. Guinevere. Correct, excellent. Here's your second bonus question. What is the name of King Arthur's court magician? Chris? Merlin. Yes. Here's your third bonus question. This knight is Guinevere's secret lover, except it's not a secret because everyone knows. Name him. Ryan. Lancelot. Yes, excellent. Oh, there's my horn. That means the end to the joust.
West Ransom Everglades is holding on to their lead. They have 140 points, but Florida Christian now has 90 points. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. <laughs> Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. We love Magnet Programs! From elementary to high school, Broward County Public Schools Magnet Programs provide extra opportunities and experiences for students in specific fields of study. International Baccalaureate, Military Academy, Montessori, Performance and Visual Arts, Sciences, and many others. The programs are free. Shop early for your child's education. Apply online today at BrowardSchools.com. Broward County Public Schools Magnet Programs. Missing school? You're missing out. Regular attendance equals education, and education equals success. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. And welcome back to School Duel, where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's School Duel champion. Now today's game has Ransom Everglades competing against Florida Christian. Our current score is Ransom with 140, Florida Christian has 90. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the rapid fire round. During this round, schools receive a category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Questions are worth 10 points. And if any questions are answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. Since Florida Christian is trailing, they get to pick their category. And today's choices are starts with K or starts with S. So which category would you like, Florida Christian? Starts with S. It's all yours. All right, schools, prepare. Here comes the rapid fire. Florida Christian starts with S. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter S. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you have to answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. Are you ready? Let's begin. Chili, frigid, and nippy are all this of the word cold. Synonyms. Capital of Oregon. Salem. San Antonio's NBA team. Spurs. Woodshop tool with types belt, disc, drum, and pad. Saw. Medieval system that tied a slave to the land he worked. Serfdom. Capital of South Korea. Seal. Device Olympic divers jump on before entering the water. Springboard. Movie with characters Clarice, Starling, and Dr. Hannibal. Science of the Lambs. This branch of Islam has the vast majority of Muslim at Sunni. Adjective for a matrix with the same number of rows as columns. Symmetrical. All right, Florida Christian, you got through all of your questions. You only missed three. Ransom Everglades, let's see if you know the answer to these. Starting with woodshop tool with types belt, disc, drum, and pad. Sean? Screwdriver. Incorrect. We're looking for a sander. Next one, what's the capital of South Korea? Sean? Seoul. Correct. And the adjective for a matrix with the same number of rows as columns? Sean? Square. Correct. Excellent. All right, Ransom Everglades. Your category starts with K. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter K. Each question is, of course, worth 10 points. And remember, you have to answer the questions quickly or the judge will move you on. So are you ready? All right, let's go ahead and begin. In boxing, what the letters K-O stand for? Knockout. The metal bar that keeps a still bicycle from falling over. Kickstand. Hum into this instrument to make music. Kazoo. Last name of Superman's alter ego. Cal. The bowline, half hitch and sheet bend, for example. Not. Football play where the quarterback runs the ball himself. Keeper. 
Similar to karate, name this Chinese martial art. Two words. Kung Fu. What is the currency of Sweden? Uh, chrono. Ethnic groups spread among Syria, Turkey, and Iraq? Kurd. Asia's Mount Goodwin Austin has this nickname. Sean? K2. Correct. Excellent. All right, Ransom Everglades, good job. We got through all of your questions. With only one question that Florida Christian can steal. Let me see. Do you know the last name of Superman's alter ego, Diego? Ken. Correct. Excellent. Nice steal on both ends. All right, there's the horn. That means the end to the rapid fire round. Ransom Everglades is holding on to their lead. They have 250 points. Florida Christian now has 170 points. But let's go ahead and take a short break, and then we will be back for the final showdown. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. We are back with School Duel. We've got a good game going as Ransom Everglades is holding on to their lead over Florida Christian. The current score... 250 to 170. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Schools go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are now worth 20 points. And just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. Okay, this is for a spot in the second round. It is time for the final showdown. First question deals with Greek mythology. As a wedding present for his stepfather, Perseus obtained the head of what Gorgon? Yes, Christina? Medusa. Geography. Name the U.S. state whose four-state lookout point allows you to see Missouri, Nebraska, and Iowa at the same time and whose highest point of elevation is Mount Sunflower. Giancarlo? New Mexico. Incorrect. Ransom Everglades? Chris? Oklahoma. Nope. Kansas is the answer. Golf is the next question. Famed golfer Sergio Garcia was born in what country? Sean? Spain. Twain. In Mark Twain's work, Roughing It, he visited the Sandwich Islands, which are now part of what far, Chris? Hawaii. Spelling. The title of a novel written by English author Mary Shelley. Spell the word, Sean? F-R-A-N-K-E-N-S-T-E-I-N. -E College football. Name this ACC college whose name shares the same name as the city it's located and whose football team has put up a lot of points with quarterback Lamar Jackson and is Sean? Louisville. The Renaissance. During the Renaissance, name the Italian city-state that was basically ruled by the Medici family. Chris? Florence. Presidents. A British general toasted his health before setting the White House on fire. During the war, Ryan? Madison. Actresses. What actress who plays Black Widow in the Avengers, Michael? Scarlett Johansson. Supreme Court, nominated by Ronald Reagan in 1981, she became the first woman ever. Sean? O'Connor. 
foreign countries. A species of human ancestor called Homo naledi was recently found in the Rising Star Cave north of Johannesburg in what country, Sean? South Africa. Organs. Which organ in your body can become diseased from either too much alcohol or, yes, Christina? The liver. Concepts. The molecules at the top of a glass of water are very attracted to each other, creating what two word? Yes, Michael? Surface tension. The NFL, after threatening to retire, following subpar seasons in Cincinnati, he was traded to Oakland. Yes, Sean. Palmer. Elements, what is the second element in the periodic table? Diego. Helium. Fast math, what's one third of 414? Sean. 128. Incorrect, Florida Christian. Michael. 138. Yes, correct. Pets. In the 1957 Disney film, Old Yeller is what type of common? Yes, Ryan? Dog. Heart. Uh, there's my horn, and that brings to the end to this first round school duel game as Ransom Everglades did a great job of holding on to their lead over Florida Christian. Ransom Everglades, you are ending with a score of 490 points. Florida Christian, you did an amazing job as well. You're ending with 250 points. But Ransom Everglades, this win is putting you into the second round. So congratulations. Of course, great job to everyone today. But this also brings an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge. And today's winner is, drum roll please, Sean from Ransom Everglades. Sean, congratulations. Congratulations, and we hope you enjoy your Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Now, at this time, we'd like to thank you at home for watching and, of course, all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible. Don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out more about the schools involved and watch past shows. Use hashtag SchoolDuel to contact us through social media. And most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 7 p.m. as American Heritage Boca takes on Royal Palm Beach High in another exciting opening round match. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users.